the match. So now we go over to the upset side of the bracket where the Blue Alliance has won the first match. Uh, 971, 973 showing out, really winning autonomous. What is, what's 3310 and 1323's alliance going to do to get back? Yeah, we spent a lot of time hyping this, this ultimate, this ultimate nine cube auto, but really it comes down to how many cubes do they come out of auto with on the scale. 971 showed us that surprise three cube auto that they got working for this. Maybe 973 has a, well, 973 has a consistent two cube. We'll hope, hopefully 1323 or 3310 can handle that. Let's, yeah. see if it, let's see if it goes to three. We'll go down to fields for introduction. Okay, folks. Last match. Blue made the upset, took the win. Red trying to take it back. Over on the Red Lions, we have Team 1323, Madtown Robotics. They are line partners. They are no strangers to taking it back from a single loss. They are 3310, Black Hawk Robotics. And rounding out the alliance, it's 2659, the Robo Warriors. Over on blue, they won the last match. They want to win the next one. They want to win the whole thing. It's 971. Spartan Robotics. They're Alliance partners. They won a championship. They want to win a Chessy championship. It's 54.99. The Bay Orangutans. Rounding out the Alliance. They're just what makes Chessy champs great. It's 973. The Gray Bots. <laughs> Looks like we are green to start this match. We have a thumbs up all around. Drivers behind the lines. In three, two, one, go. And we kick off quarterfinal 3 2 with the all important autonomous mode. Here's Spartan Robotics with their first cube. Matt Town equals. Oh, a little collision there between two red robots. Matt Town trying to recover. I see two cubes by Spartan going for a third. 33 10, frozen in place. Spartan Robotics has it. Oh, and they lose it. They're going to go get that cube again. Red, both 1323 and 33 10, dropping down cubes, taking back the scale. But those Cali twins, 973 and 971, trying to grab it back for the blue. Right now, blue with the tiniest of advantages. Both switches owned by the respective alliance. And red clawing back into it as they now control that scale in midfield. Red Alliance, 1323 and 3310. Madtown loading up. I remember the last match, 971 drove absolutely the game of their lives. They missed nary a single drop. And I see them losing a couple cubes over here. Whoa, hard defense between 54, 99, and 3310 over in the corner. 3310, you know, we've seen their drive overheat and shut down. Those hard rams can't be good on them. 3310 now going, oh my goodness, this scale is just absolutely overloaded for the red. And another successful placement for 3310. This is going to be hard to claw back from for the blue alliance. Red now eking out the lead. Mattel drops another one on top of that tower. Graybots going in on their side of the field. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't jostle the scale. Those red cubes are looking mighty precarious. The smallest bump is going to send power cubes flying. One minute left on the clock, and it's the Red Alliance with a 60-point lead. Remember, they need to win to stay alive. If Blue wins, they move on. 50 seconds left on the clock. Blue looking for some kind of a comeback. Looks like Red has a boost ready, and that scale under control. And there's the Red triple boost. The points skyrocketing up as they get double points for ownership of both their switch and the scale. The only thing that's going to stop them now is a force and maybe a levitate. Oh, man, a massive lead now for the Red Alliance. Folks, it is time for the climb. Let's see if they can pull this down. Blackhawk Robotics lifting up their partner. Oh, I hear some carpet ripping over there. 2659, the Robo Warriors up on top of Blackhawk. 20 seconds left. That robot's not lifting yet. What are they waiting for? Spartan Robotics already in place to lift for themselves. And here comes 5499, hipping up on top. Spartan Robotics coming in with the lift. Seven seconds left. Blackhawk's going up, up, up. A quadruple climb to close out the match. Wow! Last second quadruple climb. Holy moly! 
But folks, wow, what an absolutely dominating performance on the Power Cubes by the Red Alliance. It's not official just yet, but I have a sneaking suspicion we could be going to our first match three of the day. Speaking of which, we got some scores up on the big board. Oh, and by a score of 467 to 347, the Red Alliance lives to fight another day. We will see quarterfinal 3-3 and decide which of these two alliances is moving on to the semifinals. But first, let's throw it over to our RSN desk for some deeper analysis. Once again, we saw 971 get out early onto that scale, getting a huge number of points autonomous just by being barely ahead. What happened after that? It was a good audible by 3310 to come sneak around the backside and try and get ready for that extra cube just in case. They didn't actually make the extra cube on in Autonomous, but they were there and ready to go as soon as Teleop started. That's right, right now Teleop, two robots dropping cubes very fast, give Reds a good advantage, but I think a big difference in the way this match played out is that 971 was under defense the entire time. They never caught a break whenever they were searching for a cube. In the previous match, 971's partner robotics looks amazing. They went out there, they showed they can be good at black Left alone, and this time the Red Alliance did not leave them alone. We'll see what happens next in their third match. They're the first to go to a rubber match, but the next.